But I'm going to keep trying to get deeper, yo. I'm going to keep trying to get deeper. Speaking about fucking. Y'all know who else got fucked? Tyree Nichols. Transition game was strong right there, wasn't it? Tyree Nichols got fucked, yo. And that was something that we were not ready for. My mom, like I said, she's here in the building. She was the one that hit me up. She's like, Dio, she's like, don't go to Memphis tonight. They're about to get ready to release the video of the man that got killed by the police. Stay at home. It's dangerous in Memphis. I said, when is it not dangerous in Memphis, mom? <laughs> Yeah, but I guess you want me to stay home. I'll stay home, but I might still go get some wings. <laughs> and I, she told me, I was like, all right, well, I haven't heard about this, so let me kind of see what's going on with it real quick. So I clicked the, I get on the article. I do my little Google search, black man killed by police. First thing that comes up, of course. And honestly, it was one of those things that I wasn't expecting. I uh, know I'm pretty not, not the only one who was thinking the same thing when I first saw that. Black man killed by five black policemen. I said, surely, got to be some white niggas. <laughs> got to be the white man. And to my surprise, it wasn't the white man. And not only was it not the white man, they were all black. My girl, she was asking me, I said, baby, I said, I said, they black. She's like, how many? I said, all of them. She's like, when you say all of them, and I turned to LeBron James, not one, not two, not three, not four, but five niggas killed this black man, yo. And surely enough, it was a spectacle. One of the craziest things about the whole situation was, was the way they kind of like made, led, led up to the, to the video release. They made it seem like it was a, a music video countdown or something like that. It was like so kind of eerie weird about it, just how they build up the anticipation. They'll be on Channel 5. Um, tonight on Channel 5, we do have the countdown going on for the Tyree Nichols video that was should be showing soon with the police brutally being the black man to death. But tune in at 5 o'clock. And sure enough, they were just building the hype up around it. And I just couldn't, couldn't get, like, why they were making it so big. I mean, they were really thinking about fucking. They were really making it seem like it was about to be, like, some type of celebrity sex tape was about to drop the way they was building up the anticipation for it. And honestly, if I'm being honest, kind of was like that. Because some of us watched it, and some of us didn't watch it. But at the end of the day, we knew in that video that this nigga was going to get fucked. And sure enough, he did. Sure enough, he did. Five black policemen. Five black policemen killed one black man. Five niggas killed one black man, if I'm going to keep it up. It's one of those things that I couldn't even uh, really like fathom at the moment because it's one of those things that he, I guess, had a routine traffic stop is what it came to. Routine traffic stop. And honestly, I don't even know why I'm using air quotes because at this point, it pretty much is routine if we're going to keep it above. But a routine track stop comes up and it eventually leads to him fleeing on foot. And that's when they caught up to him and, like I said, they took times beating him. And I'm not going to lie to y'all. If five niggas got behind me, I'm probably going to run too, but <laughs> that's another story. But they got up to him and they beat him. They beat him. They beat him. They took times beat him each and every time, each one of them. And it's one of those things, they, they killed him on one day and he died on three days later. They killed him one day, and he died three days later. That's something that we can't continue to just turn a blind eye to. And it's one of the thing, crazy things is that somehow, no matter what we keep doing in this life, we keep giving people content. That's one thing about black people. We're good about giving people content. That's the thing I started looking at the news. We just give them more content, more things to kind of make their they life better, really. Because the black man is entertaining. The nigga is entertaining. Y'all can count on that. I can I guarantee you right now that there's some white comedian standing up on stage just like me. He got his mic in his hand. He's probably just strutting off cross stage right now. And he got this joke he had been told his wife the night before, and he's going ready to let it out. He didn't he didn't look, he said, then looked at everybody in that stand. And he didn't probably say something like, honey. What do you, what do Tyree Nichols 
in the basketball have in common. <laughs> they all got five niggas behind them. And then somewhere they just laughing they ass off. I'm talking about they just slapping their knees and everything like that. The whole club just going crazy. And now all of a sudden, here we are, back at it again, giving people more content, more material. Because it hurts different, don't it? it? Ain't fun of us. Be all right sometimes, you know, we, it felt different this time. We're used to the white police killing us, but five black police kill you, it hit a different. It was a family job. We call that an inside job. I said I was going to try to go deeper, and this is me trying to go deeper. I'd have been in March, I'd have protest, I'd have been political. I done said everything I need to say in the best kind of way. Now I'm up here making jokes about it, hoping that this somehow sparks something in our brains to do whatever we got to do to turn this leaf. Because I'm at a point that I got no more inches to give. Not now. I don't got no inches. But God damn it, I'm going to sit up here and try. I'm going to find a way to keep trying and keep trying and keep trying, even though I know I got no more depth to go. So tonight I want everybody that's looking at me, that's checking this stream out, this is our opportunity to keep moving forward, to keep doing what we got to do in this cause in order to kind of give anybody no material. This is our month. This is the month that we're going to be proud of. This is the month that we're going to continue to be proud of beyond this month and for the rest of these days. And when everybody who's listening to me right now, whoever can hear my voice, when you ain't got another inch, stretch it out. Strain a little bit. Do what you got to do because we're going to need every little inch, every centimeter we can to keep moving forward. I know I might not make y'all laugh. My mama, she laughs. <laughs> She's so generous. <laughs> but I hope I made y'all continue to empower and push forward what we need to do. My name is Walter D. Moody. And in the meantime, in between time, Moody was here. Jingle lane, I've been rolling by the wheel.